Okay, this is the inside of a, this is a Maytag dryer, but they're all basically the same. And this has a lot of squeaky noise. And so there's really just very few parts that can cause the squeak. And so what you want to do is go to each one of these wheels and spin it. Make sure it spins freely. So that one doesn't spin freely, so I'm going to guess that that's the problem one. And then there's also this pulley here. And that's pretty stuck as well, so I might have multiple. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That doesn't really move at all. Um, and then if you're in there, take a look at your belt if there's any cracks. But they do get stretched out over time. This one looks pretty good. Um, but to take off any of those parts, you're really going to want a tool like this. These are retaining ring uh, pliers come with these uh, bits for different size um, retaining rings and the retaining rings are what hold these wheels in place so you need a couple of those or that tool to take it off to switch the parts okay so I ended up buying a whole kit just with all of the wheels and uh, as you can see I mean this one wasn't bad anyway but it glides much better here as well and uh, this one spins actually as well. No, this needs tension on it. So another thing you want to replace if you're going to replace it all are these here. These are the uh, glides for the drum. This is actually the front of the dryer from the inside. And there's two glides. And these wear down eventually. So you want to replace those. Okay, so this is the motor, that copper part that you see and then the very end on the left is the uh, the wheel where the belt connects to and then there's a pulley that's attached to a spring up here above is the drum and the belt goes all the way around the drum and if you have a v-shaped belt which is this one it's got grooves in it you want to make sure it lines up the right way there are grooves on the motor wheel that spins the belt now the uh, the part that may be confusing, or you may think you've got too big of a belt, uh, you actually don't. The belt needs to be looped under the, the pulley that you see that's attached to the spring. So I'm going to put my camera down, hook it up, and then show you. Okay, so this is the proper way to install your belt for your dryer. It loops around the wheel of the motor loops all the way around the drum but it actually comes under the pulley so it puts tension on the pulley and it, it also puts tension on the belt that allows it I'll go ahead and grab the the drum as you can see oops, it's not totally seated so it's kind of fallen but as you can see when the belt moves uh, when the drum moves the motor moves so when you have it plugged in the reverse will be happening the motor will be moving and that tensioner is holding tension on the belt, which in turn holds tension on the drum. So, hope that helps. That's how you put the belt on a dryer. The rest is pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching.